Do my but make it fashion. Frat face make it happen. Raising businesses and babies in the sweet life of fashion. Yep. So you know it gets crazy. Yep. But I don't let it phase me. Nope. So keep up with be squaler. And welcome to the life of Ariel Taylor. Who? Ariel Taylor. Yep. Ariel Taylor. That's me. Welcome back to my channel. Sharing some tips and some fashion stuff and also giving you guys my insight on what I learned about just that. So, Fab Kids, better known as Textile Company, has been operating under a different name. <laughs> so, but in spite of the name Just Fab and Fab Kids, there was actually no correlation between the two companies. In 2013, Textile, also known as Just Fab, acquired the children's fashion subscription company Fab Kids. Despite the similarities in their name, like I said, there was no previous association between the two companies. Get out of here. I didn't know that. That was crazy to me. I was just kind of like, I thought it was just like a sister company to um, Just Fab. Um, I didn't see this initially recording the video, so I went back to kind of like check and just double check. And so it states that they are a little sister brand of Fabletics, Just Fab, and Shoe Dazzle. However, they were actually purchased under those brands. They weren't created um, with that brand in mind. These were other brands that, I guess, textile company went and bought out that had similar names. It was kind of like pushed to us as if it was Kimberly Simmons brand. I never really did much research outside of that, so I've always thought that I was purchasing something from Kimberly Simmons and she was just a front person. But you guys will find that out in another video, so make sure you click subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you enjoy the information that you just learned. In September of 2020, ET Entertainment Tonight listed Just Fab Kids as one of the best kids shoes on the market. Crazy that this company was actually created by men, <laughs> by men, and my husband hates shopping. Like, it's so crazy. See how these men actually capitalize off of something that can help a lot of people when it comes to fashion or when it comes to style or purchasing clothing items for like the month or the different holidays or whatnot. I thought that that was really interesting that it was created by men. Just Fab to me is kind of a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, they do have outfits, like you can purchase an entire outfit selection for like $80. It comes with like the shirt, the pants, an accessory, and maybe a pair of shoes. I didn't think that that was horrible, but I kind of thought that was a little bit out of my price range. If I was to do that for six children, that is well over $480 just for six children with an $80 outfit. I'm not rich <laughs> yet and spending that kind of money on clothes for me that are, they're going to probably grow out of or we tearing up something before you know they actually have to wear it somewhere it was just not a great that's just not something feasible for me but for you it might be okay. uh. who ariel taylor yeah and when you get on their website they have all these different um options but again to, in order for it to actually serve its purpose i would think that they would have an actual selection of like shirts and pants and different things I just felt really blah when it came to the boys selection I was looking for more I was looking for like a little bit more stylish the shirts just kind of seem like shirts I can find at Target or Walmart and for a lot less you know expensive so I just kind of was like you know 15 20 dollars for a shirt that I can find at Old Navy and get two of them 15 dollars or three of them if it's a good sale day I just kind of was like this isn't you know something that I would see myself subscribing to they also give you the option to shop with them without having a subscription so I thought that was really cool about fab kids before uh, I actually purchased a pair of tennis shoes for my sons because they had like a wider tennis shoe that just kind of give you a little bit more room some of these shoes sometimes seem like they're really tight fit like or they may be made in like um, manufacturing in China and they're using smaller measurements um, so I know with just fab kids I'm always gonna get a great great fit with the shoes so sometimes I can even uh, size down when it comes to purchasing certain things from them so that's a bonus I really only shop there for their shoes because the shoe selection gives us the variety the, the sizing variety 
and it also gives me that comfort to know when I purchase something that is not going to be too small. Unlike when I purchase things from Amazon, I'm kind of like, mm, is this going to fit or not? Even after I've measured the child's, my child's foot, you know, it just seems like it. sometimes the shoes just be too small. Fab Kids is fun. You know, I think it's very, that was very innovative. I think they should kind of go back to the drawing board with their idea of what fashion or styling uh, personalized picks is because I just think it just kind of fell flat for me someone who's looking for nice sweaters and you know fancy things that I would think a subscription would offer it just kind of offers you the idea of someone else shopping for you and you're not really doing the shopping that's what it comes off to me so okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys got to learn a little bit with me so you have been Ariel Taylor Rise click the subscription button down below and don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you thought about this video and did you know that fab kids and just fab were not sister companies i had no clue <laughs> i absolutely had no clue oh my gosh this is a part of aerial tailorization and i will see you all in my next video bye